praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very important chapter from the bible as we read romans chapter 3 from the king james version bible here it speaks about jews do not believe the oracles what advantage then has the jew or what is the profit of circumcision much in every way chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of god for what if some did not believe will their unbelief make the faithfulness of god without effect certainly not indeed let god be true but every man a liar as it is written the that you may be justified in your words and me overcome when you are judged but if our righteousness demonstrates the righteousness of god what shall we say is god unjust who inflicts wrath i speak as a man certainly not for then how will god judge the world for if the truth of god has increased through my lie to his glory why am i also still judged as a sinner and why not say let us do evil that god that good may come as we are slanderously reported as some affirm that we say their condemnation is just conclusion all are guilty before god what then are we better than they not at all for we have previously charged both jews and greeks that they are all under sin as it is written there is none righteous no not one there is none who understands there is none who seeks after god they have all gone out of the way they have together become unprofitable there is none who does good no not one their throat is an open tomb with their tongues they have practiced deceit the poison of asps is under their lips whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness their feet are swift to shed blood destruction and misery are in their ways and the way of peace they have not known there is no fear of god before their eyes now we know that whatever the law says it says to those who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before god therefore by the deeds of the law no flesh will be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin 
description of righteousness but now the righteousness of god apart from the law is revealed being witnessed by the law and the prophets even the righteousness of god which is through faith in jesus christ to all and on all who believe for there is no difference for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus whom god set forth to be a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance god has passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in jesus where is boasting then is it excluded by what law of works no but by the law of faith therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law or is he the god of the jews only is he not also the god of the gentiles yes of the gentiles also since there is one god who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith do we then make void the law through faith certainly not on the contrary we establish the law amen as we see the various points jews do not believe the oracles then we saw the next point description of righteousness yes as we see the beautiful word of god the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 and jesus christ is the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true god bless you numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen